Kevin Hunter was living the good life during his marriage to Wendy Williams. However, following their nasty split, his coins dried all the way up. As of today, his new life is drastically different from the luxury experiences he enjoyed as Wendy's husband. Before we jump into this hot, stinking mess, be sure to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of teriyaki beef jerky, toasted corn nuts, and butter toffee peanuts. Aside from raising their son Kevin Jr. together, they co-founded Wendy Williams Productions, and he was an executive producer of her talk show. They also ran a nonprofit called The Hunter Foundation, which is geared toward drug rehabilitation programs, education services, and prevention. But their marriage faced public scrutiny in 2017, when the Daily Mail published photos of Kevin spending time with a woman named Sharina Hudson. The report claimed that the pair had been romantically involved for more than a decade. More than a decade. Wendy assured her fans that it was all a bunch of fake news. However, infidelity rumors surfaced again in the spring of 2019, when news broke that Sharina had given birth to a baby girl named Journey. And yep, Kevin was the father child. Wendy went from talking about other people's business to being at the top of gossip headlines. Her personal life unraveled expeditiously amid the drama. After taking an extended hiatus from her show at the beginning of 2019, she returned in March of that year to reveal she had been living in a sober house and had a 24-hour sober coach. In April 2019, 54-year-old Wendy finally pulled the plug by filing for divorce from 46-year-old Kevin after more than 21 years of marriage. Unfortunately for Wendy, they didn't have a prenup. She later revealed that she knew Kevin had been living a double life for years. She also called him a serial cheater and said he was piping down other women when they were dating, after they got married, and when she was on bed rest and pregnant with their son. However, she had to get all of her ducks in a row before severing ties with him. The Daily Mail reported that following their split, Kevin was living the good life with Sharina, and it was all on Wendy's dime, of course. The website reported Kevin was driving around in a convertible Rolls Royce. He gifted Sharina a Ferrari, a diamond necklace, and a Chanel bag. They were reportedly living in a New Jersey home that Kevin bought Sharina back in 2016, a home that was said to be just minutes from the home he shared with Wendy. Wendy later revealed that when she found out about the secret love pad, she spray-painted Wendy and Kevin forever on the home. She also glued the mailbox shut and spray-painted it pink. <laughs> Days after Wendy filed for divorce, Kevin released a statement that read, I am not proud of my recent actions and take full accountability and apologize to my wife, my family, and her amazing fans. Kevin added he would work fully to support Wendy in her business and all obstacles she might face. But Wendy said, ah, ah, not so fast. TMZ reported the studio where Wendy's show was filmed hired extra security, just in case Kevin, who was reportedly known to have a temper, got enraged. And seven days after Wendy filed for divorce, Kevin was fired as executive producer of The Wendy Williams Show. Bossip website reported Kevin was set to receive a payout of $10 million to leave the show permanently. In October 2019, Wendy was ordered to pay Kevin $250,000 so he could secure new living arrangements. She also had to pay him alimony, and Kevin was told to permanently vacate their marital home in New Jersey, which had since been put on the market. They agreed to split the proceeds of the sale. They finalized their divorce in January 2020, with Kevin signing over his shares of Wendy Williams Productions. He kept his cars and separate businesses, and Wendy kept their joint bank account. They also dissolved their nonprofit organization. An insider told Hollywood Life website that the end of their marriage was a huge weight off her shoulders. Their marital home sold for $1.4 million, and they were finally done with each other, right? <laughs> well, not quite. Nearly two years after their divorce, Wendy revealed to Extra that she and Kevin were still in contact. She said, He calls from time to time. I don't block his number, though. He's my son's father. Oh, um, okay, girl. The Sun website revealed in June 2021 that Kevin, Sharina, and their daughter had relocated to Coral Springs, Florida, and he opened a barbershop called Headhunters. 
In addition to that, he launched a publishing house called Hunter Publishing Group, while Sharina ran an online vegan chef business. And then rumors emerged that he and Sharina were engaged after she was spotted wearing a huge diamond on her ring finger. So things were going well for them, up until March 2022, when People Magazine reported Kevin sued Wendy's talk show for wrongful termination. In his complaint, Kevin stated he was fired, quote, on the basis of his marital status, which is barred by the New York City human rights law. He was seeking at least $7 million, as well as punitive damages, lost wages, and legal fees, according to the court documents. As of this video, it appears the case is still pending. Months later, in an Instagram post, he bragged about being a part of the team that built the talk show. He also gave credit to Wendy and Sharina. He wrote, That includes my current lady now because it takes a village. Yeah, I said it. Whoever don't like it, they just ain't gonna like it. Oh, hell no! In May 2022, Wells Fargo Bank deemed Wendy incapacitated and in need of financial guardianship. The bank froze her accounts and argued that she was the victim of undue influence and financial exploitation. Although her attorney said she was of sound mind and health, a New York judge appointed a guardian over her finances. After the Guardian's review, Wendy's son, who was 22 at the time, as well as Kevin, were kicked off the payroll. Her son ended up getting evicted from his Miami apartment after he failed to make the rent payments, and Kevin scrambled to file a lawsuit to get his alimony payments reinstated. He told the court he was broke and unable to pay his bills. But in February 2023, a judge denied his request because the alimony payments were only valid as long as Wendy was employed. And since her talk show came to an end in June 2022, well, she didn't have to pay him squat. With his situation apparently dire, Kevin put the Florida home he shared with Sharina on the market in July 2023 for $1.3 million. It's unclear where he and Sharina are living as of this video, but we can confirm that they're still together according to their Instagram profiles. As for Wendy, she has promised to launch several new ventures, but she has also been in and out of rehab, including in June 2023 when Entertainment Tonight reported she entered a treatment center for alcohol abuse. Her son told the U.S. Sun website her body didn't process liquor at the same rate as a normal person, and he was worried about her. He also said he was concerned about the intentions of the people she had around her, including the court-appointed guardian that was in control of her finances. At this time, Kevin and their son are still cut off from Wendy's fortune, which many people are happy about. The consensus is that her fans just want her to get better so she can return to doing what she loves without the emotional baggage, embarrassment, and all the hot, stankin' mess Kevin brought into their relationship. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.